Hey guys, so today I'm going to go through what I keep in my professional makeup kit and we're kind of going to organize it together. So, let's begin. I keep all my makeup in the Zuka. It's really nice. It's travel friendly. It has little wheels. It's also metal and it has a little pad and then it has pockets on both sides to keep stuff in. And then to open it, just open it, and then it has more pockets and it's very big inside. So this is where I keep all my her makeup stuff. Go into what I keep actually in my kit and what I like and what I don't like and kind of give you guys an idea. I have my airbrush machine. It's nice, it's light, it's little, I just throw it in because you never know when you're gonna have to do airbrush makeup. So this is one thing I have, and I always love this one because it is so small. And this is Sparmax. And then what I have next is I have a couple different airbrush makeup guns, both by Sparmax. There is this one, and they come in a nice hard case. So that way, if it does get squished at all, it won't break. And then I have this one. And I love these guns. I've never had an issue with them. Um, they haven't gotten clogged on me. They haven't squirted out funny. So I do recommend this brand. I've had really good luck with these. Um, I've had them for maybe like five years now. The needle hasn't gotten bent or anything. I think it's also because I take really good care of it. So the minute I'm done using it, I do clean it with the cleaner which is right here. I clean it with the cleaner and then I use these little spoolies it comes with and really get in there and clean it out. And then it also came with this cool thing. You like squirt it into here, the hole, and then nothing will come out. And this helps clean out the gun and get out any extra liquid so you don't have to like spray it in the air or anything. And this all came as like a set, which was really nice. I purchased the extra gun off Amazon, but this stuff came together. Next items I'll get into are my disposables. So, tons and tons and tons of mascara wands. I go through these like crazy. I probably up to three on each client because you know you want the mascara to look really good you want it to separate you want it to make them um, look bold but you don't want that clumpy so I always dip one mascara wand into my mascara and put it on and then I throw it out and then I do the next one on the next lash and I go through a lot of these I also use them to comb out the eyebrows when I'm filling in their eyebrows but I just use a lot of these. I get these off Amazon, actually. Um, I think it was like $5 for like 200 So I don't use these often. Um, only when I'm doing really big weddings is the disposable sponges. I got these just from Target. You can basically get these anywhere, but they're just like disposable sponges, which is nice when you're doing a lot of people, so that way you don't have to clean your beauty blender in between each people, or I only have about six beauty blenders, so if I'm doing more than six people, it's not worth it to try and clean it. It takes too much time it, when it's weddings or an event, or I'm just rushing to do people's makeup and I only have a short period of time. I do not want to waste the time having to clean them, so I use disposable sponges. I know they eat your makeup a little bit and absorb some of it, but it's okay because I'd rather do that than waste time cleaning my beauty blender in between the clients. Tissues. You always need tissues, so I have this little tissue holder that came with my kit. Um, and then I have these disposable lip wands because lately I've been doing liquid lipstick on most of my clients um, because it goes on liquid but it dries totally matte and it lasts all day so a lot of times if they don't have a similar color that they can reapply I'll use mine and I'll use the lip stain and put that on so I bought some of these 
Um, what I also recommend a lot of times is if it's for a wedding or a bride's party or an event, I always do recommend that they pick a color and they purchase it themselves or pick one that they have so that way they can touch up. Um, it just becomes a lot easier than them trying to match it throughout the night and having like the lipstick wear off halfway through. So I always recommend that you get your own and then I'll apply it. But if you don't have one, then I'll use a lip stain. I'll use these to apply them. And then of course, Q-tips and business cards. I have some of these puffs for powder. So sometimes if it's gonna be a really long night and I know they're more of oily skin, is I'll fill the puff with powder so that way throughout the night they can just touch up with a little powder. I also use this when I'm doing like eyes or I'm fixing up lips and I don't want to mess up the lipstick, I'll use this to lean on. And then of course, I have my beauty blenders, which I do absolutely love. And I also got some mini ones, which are great for like around the eyes and stuff. I got those from Sephora. And then I have this little bag that I keep them in. item that I absolutely love and cannot live without is this Makeup Forever. It's this, don't mind my dirty brushes, but it's this thing. And what's great is after I'm done using the brushes, I put it in one side. So say this side will be clean and this side will be dirty. The minute I'm done, I'll just take it and put it on the other side so I know. And then at the end, it just... You just close it like this. And it snaps so that way your brushes are protected and it's hard so if you throw it in your bag or if you just have it in your makeup kit it won't your brushes won't get they won't bend the hairs won't break it just kind of helps protect them so this is one item that I absolutely cannot live without then of course I have my makeup brush holder with all my makeup brushes, oops. And I just kind of, when they're all clean, I just kind of place them all in here. It has all different little pockets, so each thing goes in a different area. I have an eyelash separator. I have a ton of brushes. I also have the Blatterazzi, which is a little blotting sponge that you can use to touch up if they're oily. I don't use this that often. Um, I only use it when I'm leaning on a client. I don't actually use it to absorb their oil because that's not sanitary. But yeah, I got all my brushes. Some brushes I cannot live without is, I really like the fan brushes for highlighting, for contouring, you know, if they want a little something. I use this little fan brush to apply mascara when they have fake lashes on because what happens is when you have fake lashes you want your your real lashes to attach to the fake ones so I put mascara on this brush and then I kind of go like this and I attach it. Yeah, that's my brush belt and then it flips over and then say I'm doing like somewhere where I don't have a table to set up it does have this so I can wear it around my waist if I need to. Forgot. So I have all of these airbrush makeup colors. I have them from Temp2 and then I have them from Mud. So I just have a bunch of different colors so that way I can make sure that I have the right color foundation. I also have color correctors, I have highlighters, blushes, because when you're doing airbrush makeup you want to make sure that you also are airbrushing on the blush and bronzer. Because when you try to put powder over, sometimes it removes the makeup. So I just like to do everything airbrushed when I do do it. And I have this cute little case that has this little zipper. And then I just place it into my Zuka, And they just all kind of pile up on top of each other. And then of course I have the 99% alcohol. I keep it in a bag so it doesn't leak in my bag. And then what I do with this is in between each client. I spray the powders and creams. So what I do is after I do eyeshadow on one client, I spray the 99% alcohol over the eyeshadow palette and that sanitizes it. And then I have an instant brush cleaner to clean brushes if I do have a ton of clients and I need to clean them in between each 
person. I have the Primo Water by Smashbox. I have Prep and Prime Fix Plus by MAC. And then I have the Urban Decay Setting Spray. So I usually use these two before I do a setting spray. So if I notice they have drier skin or very oily skin, I'll apply these while doing the makeup like in between each layer to kind of make sure that their makeup doesn't look flaky or oily and then I use this to uh, set the face. Another item that I always bring with me is it's actually for nails but what it is is it's this little sheet and it has plastic on one side and fabric on the other and I use this and I set this down on the station that I'm working on so that way I don't get the table dirty or anything and I just put all my makeup on this and also what's great is I can wipe my brushes on it to kind of get off any excess powder if I need to blend a certain area so I do recommend these these are such a great purchase they're so cheap and they really make it so much easier so that way if you're working at someone's house you don't get their furniture dirty or their tables dirty so I highly recommend that and then another thing that I have that you always need to keep is makeup remover wipes and I just like these because they're very gentle they're the Neutrogena makeup removers our lashes tons of lashes so the lashes I use the most are the Demi Wispies they just look so good on everyone they give the perfect look um, for brides, for bridesmaids, I just love how they look. They give the intensity without being like too much. So these are what I mostly use, so I buy a lot of these. But I also do have like, if they were more natural, um, I have the just regular, more intense. So I have a lot of lashes because you always need lashes. Glow kits, I love these. I use them to highlight all my clients. Mostly right here. Sometimes I'll use them as eyeshadow a little bit here because they're very natural. You can either have them very natural or more intense. So I use these a lot for brides. Cream contour kit from Anastasia. Powder contour kit from Anastasia. I keep these. As you can tell, I've used this one quite a lot. So I like to have these on me. And then what I also keep on me is the Anastasia Brow Pro Palette. Um, what I do is I mix it in with the wax and I'll really intensify the brows or I'll make them more natural. You never know what the bride wants. So a lot of times I'll use a brow whiz and then go over with this. So these are definitely my kit. Oh, so let's start with this bag. So everything is separated into bags and in the bags has certain items. So in my first bag, I am just gonna name off some items that I always keep in it is the Benefit Professional Smashbox, almost done with this one. Um, and this bag is mostly primers, I've got a second one. Um, cover effects I like to have, the mattifier, Ren Beauty Eye Cream, uh, liquid bronzer, color correctors, more color correctors, these are all primers. I got the NYX Born to Go Liquid Illuminator. I got these color wheels for color correcting. Alginist color corrector. So this one's mostly color correctors and primers. Oh my god, I love this Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. It's amazing. So this is what I keep in here. And then I got another green color corrector from Becca. Oh, and then the... Kimberly's Cream Moisturizer. So I know a lot of professional makeup artists use this. I absolutely love it. It's good for every skin type. So if they are more oily, I'll put this on. But then what I'll do is I'll put a mattifying primer on top so that way they're hydrated and they're matte, but they're not too matte where the skin will start to look too dry. So that's this bag. And then what I do is, like I said before, is I just pack these bags in like this and they just pile. So this bag looks like I just kind of, after my last job, threw stuff in here, so it's a little disorganized. But I got my mixing palette. Always need a mixing palette. So when I'm doing foundations and stuff, or creams, I take a little bit out, I scoop it out, and I put it on here so that way it's sanitary. And after, I'll just 
uh, wipe it off because you definitely don't want to keep digging into the pot concealers or contours or highlights and then keep doing it on the same person because then you're taking their skin and putting in it and it's not very sanitary. So you definitely always want to use a mixer. And then some other stuff I have in here are some more primers. I have this Shiseido Quick Fix Mist. I use this if I make a mistake, I'll spray it on the brush or I'll spray it on them and then kind of wipe it away without removing all my makeup. Ben Nye liquid set so I use this to and I put this on top of a lipstick or if it's not waterproof mascara or something that's not waterproof that I need to be waterproof I'll kind of either mix this in or put this on top of it and it's by Ben Nye and then I got my of course Ben Nye banana powder I got fair and then I got the neutral set by Ben Nye I love these powders because they don't give any flashback and they set the face really nicely. Um, I also have my Murad Invisibler. I love this stuff. It is absolutely amazing. It has SPF so if it's an outdoor wedding and they're going to be outside most of the day, I put this on because it does have the SPF. This also blurs and makes their skin look totally like porcelain. I got my little clips to clip their hair. I have scissors cut their lashes but this should actually be in another bag and then of course I got the little spatula to scoop out stuff cover effects illuminating powder so I use this to go over their face sometimes if they need more illuminating instead of more like if they're dry and they need a little bit more brightening or they just need it to look more like skin I'll go over with this after I set it with the other stuff to make sure it stays. Got another Radiance Primer, which I love by Laura Mercier. And then of course, can never live without the Sensi Eyes by Makeup Forever. I keep this in my kit at all times. And then we got the little mini tart setting powder. Oh, and of course, Becca Illuminating Shimmer. I broke the top. Oh well. I love this stuff. Sometimes I'll mix this in foundations and it just gives this really dewy, glowy look. The next bag I have is lashes, liner, mascara, kind of a little bit of everything. So let's see what I got in here. So I got more mascara ones, of course, because I never have too many. I got individual lashes, tons of them. I got really intense lashes. Really natural lashes. Of course, I got the duo glue and then I got more glue for lashes. Black and clear. Bobbi Brown ink liner. Sharpeners. Always need them. tons and tons and tons of eyeliners, mascaras. I really like this mascara. Um, so I get this one just from Target and I get it in brown and I get it in waterproof black because it's not expensive and it stays on really nicely and it doesn't clump and I just find this really good when you're doing a lot of people for a wedding because it's just really easy to apply. Let's see what else I got. Of course, Brow Wiz, I got the Benefit Goof Proof, I got the Cabrow, I got more Sensi Eyes. Lash curlers, lash gel, um, some other mascaras. So this mascara is in a squeezy tube. Um, I got it from my makeup school. And what I do is I just literally squeeze it out onto my palette and then I'll put the brush in it and then I'll use it to attach the lashes to the fake lashes. I got the Urban Decay eyeshadow primers. Eyeliner, liquid, of course, Kat Von D liquid liner. So with the liquid liners that come with the brush, what I do is I shake it, I put alcohol on a tissue, and I soak the tip in alcohol, 99% alcohol, so it sanitizes the tip, and then I'll use it to apply, and then I'll sanitize it again, and then I'll close the cap, so that way this is 100% clean. I also have Too Faced Glitter Glue, Shadow insurance. I got a whole bunch of this is mostly eyeliners and eye stuff. 
So that's where I keep all that. And then I do throw in just some of these lashes in there. I probably shouldn't, because I don't want these to get damaged, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Eyes. And I keep everything in these little bags so I know what's in there. So I have this palette. Actually, this is a face palette. These are blushes, so I popped out blushes from different palettes or their containers, and I put them in the Zoop, um, the Z palette, so that way I can customize my own. And as you can see, I have colors, all different kinds of colors that I love. I got the Tarte palette, and it is, I got the Tarte palette, which I love. It's all matte, so I always keep this. And then I also have some more Z palettes with different eyeshadows in them that I made myself. So I pop these out of like the Naked Urban Decay palettes. I have some Anastasias, all different ones. So I keep these. I like to like take the eyeshadows out of their actual palette because it makes it easier for me. Like I can fit, I think this is like three palettes in one. So you know what I mean? It's just so much easier to carry these than a whole bunch of these. So yeah, I also have this Kat Von D palette. I took most of her palettes apart, but I could not get this one apart. So this is just some nice neutrals and grays. I have some individuals I still need to pop out. I got some little glitters. This tattoo liner. Some pigment in like a nice neutral goldy tone. I love that. I use that color on like everyone. And then of course I have the full exposure palette. As you can see, I have dug way into it. I use it on a lot of clients because it's just such a pretty palette and it's good for everyone. I also have this basics palette from Marvin McKay. So if there's a special look they want and certain colors, obviously I will grab another palette. I just keep the basics in because a lot of times brides want very like smoky, very natural, but if they want fun colors then I do have another kit I use for that. So that is my eyeshadows. And then next we have my face products. Of course we have this one palette that was in the wrong spot. And in this one I have my my RCMA foundation palette. This just looks like this. Of course you can see the colors I've used the most. And what these are is they're all different shades of foundations and what I do is I scrape out the color I want to use and then I put it on my palette and then I use it on the client. But I find foundation palettes so much easier. I also have this Makeup Forever Hard Case. I've talked about it before. It is one of my favorites. And then some more foundation colors. It's very hard. Um, it of course has lots of dents in it because I dropped it and nothing broke inside of it. So I highly recommend these Makeup Forever cases. I have the Kat Von D Shade and Light Highlight Contour Palette. I use this one a lot. I have some more foundations, the Makeup Forever. But it's the Makeup Forever Foundation Palette. It has many different shades, so I use this a lot. And then I have some more just random highlight contour foundation palettes. Um, another thing I have are these Smashbox sticks. So I have um, all the color correctors. So I have purple, I have green, I have orange, and then I have the highlight and contour colors. So I have the highlight, I have the bronzer, I have the contour, I have. Um, the two color correctors. There's a peach and there's an orange. So I have these sticks. They're very nice. They're very creamy. I love these a lot because they just, they're like little pens and they just go on so nicely and so smooth. So I keep these in here. I recommend those. They're so blendable. I have the Makeup Forever HD powder in here. I have NARS Orgasm Blush because I use this like crazy. I have the Tarte Contour Stick. Too Faced Bronzer, love this stuff, and then I have the Oron uh, Pro Cream Foundation in this one color that I use a lot, because a lot of people have that yellow undertone. Last but not least is lips. So I have this case I made, and I put all the bottoms of the lipsticks here so I know which lipsticks are in here. 
and I just kind of melted them into this case. So basically what I did is I scraped off part of the lipstick and then I applied it in here. Yes, it is very messy, but that is what happens when you make your own lipstick palette. And these are all colors that I use the most. And then in here I have lipsticks, lip stains, lip liners. I got Anastasia. I got Sephora Collection. I got Buxom, Naked, Urban Decay, uh, NARS. I have the Makeup Forever Clear Lip Liner. It's amazing. It saved my life many times. Makeup Forever. I got some more lip wands in here. But yeah, this is basically, I got chopstick, lip liners, Tarte, I got NYX. I love the NYX lip liners. I use, I have so many of them because they're just, they're cheap and they're easy to use. There's NYX. So I have a lot of those. I got Sephora Collection Matte Lipsticks in Nude. I always read. I just have a whole bunch of, I got lip glosses to add shine. This is basically just a whole bunch of lipsticks that I use on clients that work very well. One of the most popular colors I use is Rick, I can't pronounce that. I just buy NARS. I use this NARS pencils all the time. Um, another really popular one I use is this Buxom liquid lipstick and Dolly. I use this all the time. And then I got my lipstick. So those are my lipsticks. So that is the end of what I keep in my pro makeup kit. I know it's a lot, but you also have to think that everyone has different skin. Everyone has a different look they want. Everyone has different style. So obviously I keep a lot of products so that way I know I can accomplish the look that they're looking for. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!